This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring retired FBI special agent Jennifer Coffindaffer. Rex Hirman, the man that is being accused of being the Long Island serial killer, bringing prostitutes into his home, accusations of that, going and uh, finding them, killing them, leaving them on the beach, different places. Uh, and God knows how many more are going to be connected. Hair found on the bodies as well. Attorney John Ray, who represents some of the victims and their families, making shocking accusations this last week, not about Rex Hureman, but about his daughter, Victoria Hureman, a person that many of us didn't even know her, her name unless we really searched for, not about Asa Victoria. Joining me to discuss, Jennifer Coffendaffer, retired FBI special agent, my jaw kind of dropped at this one. Uh, and John Ray has always been a very colorful character. He's brought some interesting things to light. But this seemed a little bit much. What was your thoughts on John Ray uh, basically calling her a human devil well, uh, and somehow connected to her father's uh, horrible alleged deeds? You know, I just didn't understand the purpose. So yeah. If you do research uh, as an attorney and you receive evidence as an attorney because people want to call you over calling the police, right? That's what he's saying. He's got this tip line and open communication with anyone that wants to come forward. You bring all that to the police. You don't grandstand. There wasn't one law enforcement officer there. Uh, Law enforcement has actually said that uh, Victoria and, Asa are not involved at this point that they can't find evidence to say they are. And so it was, it was a bit of a public flogging of Victoria. It it, it felt extremely reckless conclusions that were drawn. Yeah. uh, That were very speculative in, in my belief, but if you do come across things and, and, you know, they obviously did a lot of research and kind of third party removed, right? She yeah. looked at these sorts of pictures and things like that. Just bring that to the police and let them see if there's anything to it. I didn't understand going to the public and doing this press conference. Well, and it's not like they're not investigating this thoroughly. I get years ago when this was all kind of, you know, being pushed to the side by the then at that point in time, uh, police officer that uh, is now, you know, uh, not really <laughs> gone down well in history. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, you had to kind of go public to, to get some attention here, but they're investigating. They're finding more leads. They're finding more bodies. Why are you going out and saying this about this woman? Uh, I mean, I, people can be into that sort of stuff. And guess what? If your dad is Rex Hurman and look at the home itself, look at the upbringing, you might be into macabre things without actually being a murderer. Uh, it, what was most shocking to me is most of the art that he was portraying wasn't even hers. It was it was other things that were like forwarded, posted, reposted, and things of that nature. It almost kind of felt to me like he didn't even quite understand the basics of how social media works when he was up there on the stand calling her demonic and such. It, it, I was really surprised that he he did this. I really was. Uh, uh, I think it was just not the not the right venue. Mm-hmm. I think uh, the venue is calling a a uh, meeting with the police and bringing all these what he thought were revelations to the police, yeah. saying, "Look, you may want to check into this." So I I was concerned. I I didn't really understand it. Yeah, and um, you know that was my initial take. I just didn't didn't understand why he chose this venue. Yeah, I, it, it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me uh, at all. I think it hurt his his credibility quite a bit. Um, and I don't know. I, I, I would think this probably opens him up to a bit of a suit from her uh, if she really wants to go after it. But then again, that opens up Discovery, which maybe she doesn't necessarily want to do considering all of the other pieces of her life that are being exposed right now uh, from her family. So I don't know. We'll see what happens down that road. But uh, just a bizarre uh, moment in the saga of Rex Hirman. Want to listen ad-free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? 
Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.